Wednesday UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling. Uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introduce your first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Express! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, well, take yourself at all time. will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe this is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> and he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Powerful leg kick lands. He loaded up on that right hand, too. 
Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in a single column tie here. Beautiful body kick. Three minutes to go here, round one. Misses with the left hook. Blocks that strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. the right hand, he misses. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of... The biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful punch. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, head kick. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets caught with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's gonna be, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing. This next round, I want you to relax a little bit. You're too tight. You're forcing your leg kicks. I agree. Those leg kicks are going to be the key. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe. Oh, he's there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. 
held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, big left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Unable to connect with the right. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. Oh, and he gets the takedown here. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man, I feel for a wrestler this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Back and forth we go. Can't take any of those kicks. Straight punch lands. And that was a thudding leg kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked though by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his... Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice punch there. Shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Beautiful body. Right under the elbow. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Well, 
Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Whip his hip into that kick. Bunches and bunches, bunches and bunches. Let's go. Visibly limping here. Nice punch land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, just misses with the kick. Spinning back fist. Big head kick. no good. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Huge block there. Great punch. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Boom. Block that kick to the body. Oh! He's in He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Got clip with the right hand. That one is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Pretty significant welt to the left side. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. And he's back up. Oh, man, that's a nice... Okay, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. 
So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Look at you there? All right, good. You're fine right now. You got clipped. You were wobbled, but you're tough. We've trained for this before. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Staying upright on that. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Looking to land the leg kick now. Leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with that one. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. Pretty good right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Three minutes to go in the round. Big kick lands. Watch the shot. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. What a body kick. Nice loop punch. And they separate. for the head kick, he misses there. There's no kill on that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Throws the right hand there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Fast that right in. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Get some offense. Let's get going. Just misses there with the left. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Under a minute to go. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. 
he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he hurt Bell the jab. How good is that right hand? 20 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Tags him with the left. Slips. Lee's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Take more of these leg kicks, and you'll not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Jeez Louise. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, real sneaky body. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivery. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges.